Hello everyone, welcome to From the Start Lesson Series 3. If you are new to my channel and a beginner violinist, please complete lesson 1 and 2 in this series first before coming to this lesson. If you're returning, welcome back and I hope you enjoy this lesson series with me. First of all, we're going to talk about some note values, which is all about rhythm. So when we look at this top note over here, you can see it's shaped a bit like an egg. It's hollow, it's got no stem going down or up, and it's called a semi-brief. In previous videos, you might have heard me say ta, a, a, a. So it's a four count note. One, two, three, four. If we add a stem to our semi-brief, we get a note that's called a minim. And this is two counts. Ta, a, ta, a, or one, two, one, two. So if a semi brief lasts four counts, we can play two minims in the same amount of time. Ta, a, 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 ta, a, ta, a. If we take the minim and we color it in, we get a note called a crotchet. Ta, 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 ta. This is a one count note. One, 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 or more commonly, one, two, three, four. So for every semi brief, you can play four crotchets. For every minim, you can play two crotchets. And if we add a little tail onto the crotchet, or if we beam two of these notes together with a beam at the top, we get what's called a quaver. And this is played twice as fast as a crotchet. Tate, 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 or counting it one and two and three and four and. So for every crotchet, you can play two quavers. For every minim, you can play four quavers. And for every semi brief, you can play eight quavers. So we're going to spend a little bit of time getting to know these note values in the next few lessons. The second thing I'd like to show you is all about pitch, how high or low a note is. And this is where we write our four strings of the violin in music on these five lines, which are called the stave. So this very low note, I'm sure you can guess, is the G string. Over here is the D, this is the A, and that's the E. So as the notes go up on the stave, so the notes go up in sound. And it doesn't matter which note value I write. I can write any note value. As long as the note head is placed in that position, this will be a G, that will be a D, that will be an A, and these will be E's. So let's get started with our rhythm for today. We're going to use the words one, two, three, four, down, up. Ready to clap it with me? Remember to do everything with me. Ready, and one, two, three, four, down, up. 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 Or we can use our French time names and we'll say ta, 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 ta. So let's pluck that rhythm on every string of our violin. Let's see if we can get it straight into position today. Remember to keep it out at a slight angle, not straight in front, not out to the side, just in the middle. Have your left hand up against the shoulder of the violin, nice and relaxed there. And we're going to use our right hand to play pizzicato. You can place your thumb on the fingerboard. Let's start on the G. Ready and one, two, three, four, down, up, D. A. E. Well done. Let's start with the highest string and work our way down. Starting on the E. Ready and ta, 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 ta. Ta, 
Well done. Put your violin down for a moment. Let's practice our bow hold. So remember to take your right hand, <clears throat> hold it out in front, wiggle your thumb and bend it, wiggle your first finger, leave it, wiggle your middle finger and place it on top of the nail of your thumb. Make sure you've got a nice donut, not like that, rather like that. And now we're going to do that what's the time exercise. So remember you place placing your arm right out in front of you, forwards, like that. So never out to the side. And we're going to do that same rhythm. Make sure your wrist bends nicely. One, two, three, four, down, up. 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 Well done. Give your hand a bit of a shake and carefully pick up your bow. And let's see if you can find your bow hold straight away. Remember to rest the bow on your left shoulder, the violin shoulder where your violin will go. And that you're going to place your hand just outside the mouth of the frog. Your thumb will go on the wood or on the stick there. Your middle finger will flop on the other side. First finger leans. So we have leans, flopsy, mopsy, tickles on top, and your thumb bends underneath. Remember the shape of the knuckles coming down, never dropping below the stick. Everything bent and nice and loose. So let's quickly do that where you tap each finger four times. Leans, flopsy, mopsy, tickles on top, and your thumb bends. Right, starting up here, same rhythm. Ready, and one, two, three, four, down, up. 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 Well done. Rest your bow on your shoulder while I quickly show you the notation for this rhythm. So if we were to write it on the stave with the rhythm note values that I've shown you, it will look like this. So if we're going to play it on the G first, all of those notes are the G. All of these notes are the D. All of these notes are A, all of these notes are E. You can see I've got the rhythm. Ta, te, ta, te, ta, ta. Ta, te, ta, te, ta, ta. And so it carries on. And what we've added here is the symbol for a down bow and the symbol for an up bow. So a down bow is when you start here and you move away from your face and an up bow is when you move towards your face. So let's find that perfect bow hold again. Lift up the bow, pick up the violin and let's play that rhythm on all four strings starting on the G. Take a deep breath in and out. Ready and go from the high string and work our way down. Ready and Did you notice my right elbow? How it lifts up for the, the lower strings and back down as I go to the E string. Well done, everyone.